what I'm learning on homesteading, right? You, when you first start out, you, you kind of just make do. Uh, but eventually, you're gonna have to um, upgrade. Because <laughs> you, you're kind of getting sick and tired of just making do. Right now I'm headed to Asheville, in Asheville, at the Whole Foods parking lot. I'm gonna meet uh, someone, they bought a wall hanging, right back there, a uh, mountain art piece for me, and I'm delivering it to them. We're gonna meet them in here at the, the Whole Foods. <laughs> Deliver that another happy customer. <laughs> All right, back in the shop today. We got to work on this chicken brooder, guys. I've been trying to chip away at this chicken brooder. Um, it's a portable chicken brooder that I'm making for our 30 chickens, meat chickens that we have com coming next week. Um, I, I'm trying to get that done and get that out there in the world and right now I need to cut down some of this plywood uh, so I could fit it on the, the portable brooder. I'm gonna, use my, I'm gonna use my track saw and that's the beauty of having a track saw is that you could cut down big sheets of plywood. These special clamps hold it in place. Slip it in there so it won't move around on you you mark it off with the line that you want to cut tighten that up and then it has this little track that the circular saw runs on so it makes a straight cut all right now we're gonna go this cut off all right so that's gonna be there like that gotta tack that on and that's one side of the brooder let's see what Lorraine's doing over here she'd be working hard in the garden today I'm, I'm, tired. Done. <laughs> I'm done actually so I just raked up all of this mulch that was scattered across our garden from the chickens it's just like a light rake. So I kind of just lightly raked off of the mulch. And then I dug up, I have some yarrow plants that got really giant. <laughs> so I dug them up, I split them up and I put them in the greenhouse. I put them in pots. I'll be giving some to my mom and then some away to some friends. These four, I want to plant them because I don't want to give away all my yarrow. But I'm just standing here staring, trying to figure out where I should plant them. I think I'm tired. <laughs> I need water and I'm tired. So I originally wanted to plant the yarrows here on the side of the greenhouse because last year we had um, sunflowers and I thought, oh, how pretty it looks to have something nice and flowery on the side, but then these high winds came and knocked over the sunflowers. So I'm thinking maybe not something so tall and something just shorter, which the yarrow would be perfect, but the yarrow is bushier and we wouldn't be able to roll up the sides. Or I could just put like one here and then we could roll up the side here and then like one there and we could just kind of stand in the middle maybe. The yarrow is ready to be planted and this is not ready. I thought some of this was gonna be harder than what it is, but it's really not. It's actually pretty soft. This is all the pig poop and stuff and compost that we've been putting on here. So all I really have left is just to rake up this area here and then take out this covered row, take out all the plants, and then we're ready to go. I mean, unless you wanted to do like the hills and the valleys. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think we should do the um, hills and the valleys. Uh, these hills, these permanent hills here, these raised hills. Um, I think that helps with the rain because we get a lot of rain here. And so we don't want to get flooded out. 
it because it, it does happen and it can happen. First you put some glue. I always like to use glue. This is outdoor glue, waterproof. I'm gonna do the pink side out just because I like the way the pink color looks. Line it up, then you shoot it in. All right, so that's one side. That's it. This down also. I'm doing something a little bit different on this this piece here or this rooter. That it's going to have a removable bottom where you could slide in and slide out, so you could dump out all the wood shavings. Never done one of those before, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so now this is just um, part of the bottom, not the part that comes out. Better yet, it's better to use a hardware cloth, even though I want to use up my, my poultry netting, but this would be better to use. You gotta manhandle this stuff, man. Maybe throw a knee in it, like that, whoa. <laughs> I don't know what I would do if I actually had a warehouse or like a bigger shop to actually work inside, where I actually had a flat floor. I don't know what I would do. I probably wouldn't even get anything done. <laughs> What I'm learning on homesteading, right? You, when you first start out, you, you kind of just make do. You kind of just make do what you have. Uh, but eventually, you're gonna have to um, upgrade. Because <laughs> you, you're kind of getting sick and tired of just making do. And so, um, I upgraded to this. And just hammer that down. There you go, right there. That's the, the bottom of it. All right, we're all packed in there. All materials are in there. Tomorrow's another day and I should be able to put a full day in tomorrow on this brooder. All right, Ryan's in the kitchen. Cooking? Yes, making some sausage and potato soup. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I gotta say about that. That's it. So what else are you gonna put in here? Um, I found this recipe on Pinterest. So it's got potatoes and then this delicious sausage and onion. It calls for spinach. We don't have any spinach, but our garden is exploding with kale right now. So we are gonna put kale. And our friend Billy gave us some sausage and that's what this is from his pigs that he raised on his farm. Uh, he wanted us to try it out. Yeah, he ground it and seasoned it himself. So this is his Italian sausage. I came in really because I needed to upload today's video. Uh, I was editing video pretty much all day. Some of our analytics, guys. Guys, 58% of you guys that are watching our videos are not subscribed to our YouTube channel. What's up? <laughs> if you have not, please hit that subscribe button, guys. Hit that thumbs up button, guys. That helps us a lot. It helps us in the whole algorithm thing and helps us get our channel out there in the world uh, where more people can watch it. All right, dinner time. Soup? Soup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a 